All right, guys, this is video number three for the day. Just got back from the vet with Georgia. Um, he did very, very well there. Um, I was going to try to get a short video while I was there, but kind of too much commotion going on. Um, but he did very, very good. Um, I'm glad I've been able to socialize and tame him um, the last year and a half because he, you know, was not aggressive or, or nothing. He was just super friendly and just very curious of the couple of people that were in the room. Um, he was even kind of climbing on the vet and on the, uh, the vet tech girl. He was just curious, wanting to know what was going on and who everybody was. You know, no, no nipping, no biting, no, no, nothing. He was just like, who are you? Do you want to be friends? <laughs> But, um, so, unfortunately, because of his tail situation, um, the vet did have to kind of snip off the end of his tail, and to be honest, it was just kind of, kind of half hanging there, um, and he was like, you know, do you want me to take him in the back and do it, or are you comfortable with me doing it right in the room? I said, no, I said, go ahead and do it right in the room. I said, I'm sure Georgia would rather have me in the room with them instead of being, you know, in the back with other weird, you know, weird people and smells and whatnot. So, um, he, uh, went in the back and got the vet tech and then another, um, exotic vet kind of stood there too, to watch everything. And it didn't even take long. You just, you know, kind of cut the end off and the end that was not doing good and then just had to cut just a teeny teeny bit more um just so that you know the skin can grow over and heal properly um he didn't see any signs of infection or anything like that and he thinks that it's going to heal just fine um he did give me an antibiotic, I think it's at Batril. Um, yeah. So I gotta give him just a little dose of that once a day for 10 days. He said that I probably don't need to give it to him. He said, but just to be on the safe side, um, you know, he said to go ahead and give him the antibiotic. So, and he didn't seem to be too, and I asked and he didn't seem to be too concerned about you know, the substrate, um, about a week ago I did pull most of the substrate out and um, replaced it with, you know, clean, fresh substrate. And I haven't been putting that much water in the water tub so he can't splash it all out over the place and have the substrate get all wet and yucky all the time. So, but it looks like his basking temperature is... About 113, it was 116, which is roughly where it should be, but I've had the door open for about five minutes, so that's why it dropped a little bit. Um, he hasn't been out of his enclosure too long, about two hours, but um, while we were there, when the, um, when the vet was doing the exam, and then when he left the room to go grab the vet tech and the other exotic vet before he snipped at Georgia's tail. Georgia was climbing all over me and stuff. And lo and behold, he got his little butt back there on my back. And before I knew it, he decided he was going to poop. And this little turd pooped in my hair and it just ran all down my back. And I don't mean out of my shirt. It literally went in between my, it went under my shirt. So I had to spend the rest of the vet visit with lizard poop running down my back. So that was, that was fun. But um, they were nice and gave me a, a towel to put in my car on the ride home. <laughs> so I'm just gonna, uh, just doing a quick video here. Just let everybody know he's doing good. He's doing fine. Um, I seriously need to hop in the shower to get lizard crap off of my back and hair because it's not smelling too good at the moment. 
but he, he's doing good. It, you know, it's like nothing, it's like nothing happened. Nothing has phased him. Um, he just is missing about an inch or so of the end of his tail, but I'm gonna get him out and put him in his enclosure and I'll try to show the end of his tail here. Come on, buddy. You ready to go back in your house? You ready? You did so good. You did so good, didn't you? I know. I know. They put a little bit of um, like a numbing, like numbing stuff. Not not a, not even a shot. They just kind of. Well, after they after they snipped it off, the other guy kind of squirted some numbing stuff at the end of his tail. And then they kind of let that dry, and then they put some um, antibiotic cream, kind of like a little numbing cream too, but um, I've got this silver honey. It's for wound care. You can actually use it on people and animals, all animals, and it works very, very good. So the best that I can continue to do that. So I just got the antibiotic to do once a day, and then... Uh, do the silver cream keep doing that once a day so currently georgia is climbing on my head oh my god come on buddy let's go back in your house come on i'm gonna get you back in your house come on no you get it not climb on me ouch oh my god all right i'm gonna have to put this down or something come on come on goober it's literally climbing all over my head at the moment. Come on. Come on, Georgia. There we go. Come on, there we go. Down you go, down you go. So... There's the end of his tail. It doesn't look too bad. It doesn't look too horrible. He didn't... He didn't want to wrap it up or anything and wasn't concerned about substrate getting in there. He said just, you know, keep it clean with the, um, with the betadine. So I'm sure he just wants to hang out under the heat, but I know what happened to your tail. We know, buddy. But it probably feels better, huh? I know, I know. My sorry. My sorry, Georgia. It probably feels better, though, huh? All that yucky tail hanging there. So, there's that. And even the vet said that, unfortunately, this is kind of a common thing that happens. Um, and he said, it, you know, it wasn't nothing that I did. He said, it definitely looked like some kind of an injury. And I think I said before that um, uh, when I when I first got him, he's always had a bit of a kink at the end of his tail. And oddly enough, um, when his tail started to get funky and not look so good. That was, it was the whole section that was, that always had that kink in it. So he could have, you know, whacked it on something or, I know a few times he has gotten it caught in this little lip here. So, I mean, a number of things could have happened, but he said it was nothing that I did, just some kind of a random little injury and it affected that end of the tail that had the kink in it. So, but he did, he did really good. I was impressed. He was very, very nice. Oh, very nice, very friendly. He wasn't mean at all to anybody. I was proud of him. But he's had a rough afternoon, so we're just going to let him 
lay there, get some heat, and hopefully you'll be feeling better tomorrow. So just wanted to give you guys one last update and show the end of his tail. I'm sure that'll be looking better too in a few days. All right, guys, we'll catch you on the next one.